It is finally time for TJ to make his playoff debut with the Edmonton Oilers here. We're going up against the Vancouver Canucks, and they finished 20th in the league, somehow sneaking into the playoffs. They really squeaked in. And, uh, yeah, we finished 8th in the league, so we definitely have the advantage here. And I guess, yeah, that's probably boiling down to our division once again being fairly weak. So if we go to the stats here, check it out. So Vancouver finished 4th, yeah, and they... Had 85 points, 38, 35, and are you, like, I've had 42 win seasons and not made playoffs, and then, I think I've had 45 win seasons and not made the playoffs, and these guys make it in with 38. That is just a huge load of bull crap. but anyway, <laughs> um, I guess that's the way she goes. So, uh, let's have a look at, how can I do this? How can we view the lines of Vancouver? Are we able to do that somehow? I think there's a way. I think I remember us doing it, but I can't remember how we did it. Oh, that's how we did it. Stat Central. Okay. Um, actually, you know what we could do? There's two ways we could do this. Okay, so I'm going to do them both. Just so we can see their lines and we can see who is on their team and their overalls and whatnot. How many points they got. So let's go to Vancouver. So they have uh, Pedersen here, 67 points, 90 overall. JT Miller with 60 they got Besser, 58, Granlin, 52, or Garland, sorry, not Granlin. Um, Hoaglander is 83 overall. He got 50. OEL, okay. Hughes only put up 30. That is weird for him. He is 89 overall, though. Okay, so that's their team. I think we definitely have the better team. They have Thatcher Demko in net, though, who is an elite goaltender. Is he? I don't know. Okay, anyway, maybe he is. Maybe he is. I don't really pay too much attention to... Vancouver, honestly, but um, maybe he is very good. Regardless, yeah, here we go. It's going to be Thatcher up against TJ, and I like, I, I think our team is better. Now, if we go to the team standings, this works in franchise mode anyway. I don't know if it's going to work here. Oh, it doesn't. You can't do it here. Okay, so normally you could like view the team info and you can go check the lines and stuff. So I guess we have to do it through stats central, but, or sorry, through individual player stats, but that's fine. At least we got to see what we're going up against, and I like our chances, but... It's the playoffs. It's a whole new season. You never know. Anything could happen. So let's go. Game one. Is there anything I want to check before? I'll check our lines as well just to get the uh, the playoff lines updated here, even though they're probably the exact same. So we got Nuge, McDavid, Pliarvi, Yam, Dreisaitl, and Hyman. And then our bottom six looks about the same. And we have Nurse Barry as our top pairing. Bottom four there. Letty is in. And if we go to goalies, we got TJ. And Pavel. Okay, and as you guys know, I started up a storyline, I think, in an interview before the playoffs, which can maybe get me a new ability. I'm not sure. I Maybe I should go check. Maybe I have to do something in order to get that. But, yeah, our team looks solid. Let's actually have a look at the uh, scratch players here. Duncan Keith, Broberg, and Clefbaum. Okay, so, um, where is X-Factors? Abilities. Here we go. Is there some kind of storyline thing going on that I can check? Ability progress. So, dialed in. It looks like we're definitely getting... Definitely getting that. <laughs> Let me try that one more time. Uh, win the Pacific Division. Okay, so it looks like we're going to get Adventurer. Unless we... Yeah, because we can't win all of them. So I think we just have to win one of them. And I think we're going to get it. So I might have some more abilities next year. Let's go. That is sick. Cool. I love it. Great. And yeah, I'm assuming... Let me just double check. But we don't have them unlocked yet, right? No, they're all still locked here. Okay, so... But we have two slots open. And we have two abilities that we should hopefully be getting next year. I am very down for that. Which goalie right now has the Adventurer uh, X-Factor? I don't know. Anyway, let's sim the game and see how it goes. First period. Nice. That's a hot start to the playoffs. 1-0. Second. Okay. All right. We have a close game on our hands here. Let's jump in and see if we can maintain this current lead. All right. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm genuinely a little bit nervous here. Here we go. It is playoff time. Edmonton versus Vancouver. The crowd was dead silent for some reason coming into that. That was weird. Normally you get like a, a little bit of a cheer. But maybe the crowd's just as nervous. McDavid going to get dropped. Playoff hockey. It's going to be more physical. Pedersen getting stepped up on already. Oh no. I don't like it. They're already going to the corners and trying to do the out front passes. But thankfully, yes, he was there to break that up. And now he goes back the other way. He takes a low shot. Rebound kicked out. Hughes there to get that. All right, boys, here we go. Look at Petey. This guy's trying to get fancy already. It's the playoffs. All right, dude, chill out. <laughs> you got to try and, you know, at least get a couple goal lead before you start doing stuff like that. But anyway, 
Um, not my team, so do as you please. I mean, technically, this isn't my team either. I just play on the team, but, you know. All right. We're off to a fairly good start here. I have not faced a single playoff shot yet, which I am okay with. I'm going to be real. If I don't face a single shot this whole third period, no problemo on my end. They have it behind the net. I don't like this. Nice, McDavid. Way to get there for that. Oh, but he gets stepped up on it. Now Horvat's walking in. He tried to stuff it, but to absolutely no success was that attempt. Poyarvi going to get stapled against the boards. Man, this is very physical. Still have not had a shot. Hughes passes and... Oh! Had a shot. Now I've had a shot. Why does the arena announcer always say stuff so weird? He was like, Canucks goal. <laughs> like, why? Anyway, here we go, Dry Sidle. Come on, let's get that one back. Demko going to catch that one in the oven mitt. So, so far, not so good. I have one shot, one goal against. Absolutely on fire out here, fellas. Okay, come on. You need a big draw win. Let's get it. We play Unreal in the third period. Let's do it again. Dry Sidle, win that draw. Okay, that's good enough. Pass it. Why did you not pass it? Why didn't you pass it for the backdoor 1T? I mean, I guess it wasn't, you know, it wasn't the right-handedness for that. But still, I feel like it could have worked out, maybe. Oh, well. Here we go, lads. 13.30 to go. Hyman is in. Nice try. Dreisaitl battling in front of the net. He gets a good chance. Okay, here we go, boys. I'm scared. I don't like it. The Canucks are back in again. Hoaglander going to cough it up. And now, we're headed back the other way once more. Nice little dish-off pass there. Goligoski almost coughs it up. And then he just donates the puck to them. Puts it right on their stick. Miller, gonna lose it. I almost slid way out of position there. It's not looking good so far. It's looking rough. For your boy, TJ. Okay, Oilers, we, we need a goal here. I need I need a little bit of a confidence boost. Nice try, Radulov. I like the shot. Sammy Blaze. Oh, wait. No, he still has it. <laughs> if that went in, I swear... Oh, dude, I don't like this at all right now. They are playing like the cheap CPUs that score every single shot. <laughs> That's the way they're playing right now. Shoot only if it's going directly in the net and the goalie is not present. Otherwise, just skate around with it until you have that opportunity. But you know what? I genuinely don't care about my stats. I don't at all. I just care about the W. So hopefully we can still get that. It is a tie game halfway through the third, so it's not like, you know, we're losing now or anything. We still have a draw. Oh, nice try, Ennis. I like it. Through a screen. Good stuff. Here comes Pedersen, the leading point guy for the Canucks this year. Oh, that looked like a career-ending injury. for Was that Dezingle? He just slammed into the boards doing the splits. That would take me out for at least a year or two, that's for sure. Here comes Broccoli Besser. He's going to pass it, but Nurse will be there to intercept. Thank you, Darnell, for the phenomenal defensive play. Nice try, Yessi. That was a good shot, too. We're getting a lot of good chances, but Thatcher Demko is playing like an elite goaltender right now. And the Canucks going to have a clean breakout. Myers over the line gets it to Garland, and the boys swarmed him. Love to see it. McDavid, nice shot. The rebound. Let's go. Edmonton Oilers back on top, 3-2. I have still only faced one single shot in this third period. I don't know what that's all about. And, of course, it was a one-timer. I feel like I actually almost had that one, but it wasn't close enough, clearly. All right, let's see the instant replay here. McDusty cuts to the center of the ice, and he is going to send it low on net. Kicked out. Nuge with the rebound. <laughs> and a, a little victory roll on the ice to boot. Here's Garland in the middle. Where is it? I don't like this at all. They really just aren't taking shots that normal teams would, it feels like. This is very strange. It's like they're playing exactly like NHL 13 and 14 CPUs. Where, I'll say it again, they're pretty much only shooting when it's like a guaranteed goal. If they're not going to score for sure, if I'm in the right position, then they're just going to hold it. And the defense will take them out or whatever, but... You know, if we can keep playing well defensively and not let them get any shots because of that, then I am A-OK -okay with all of that. Oh, yeah? Pass that to you. That was risky business. I shouldn't have done that. Oh, no. I don't like this one bit. If this goes in. It's not really my fault, but I definitely played a role. You know what I'm saying? Coming in on the two-minute warning here. And the Oilers still with a one-goal lead. 
It's looking good. It is looking good. I finally got to <laughs> make a few saves there, which feels nice. Here is Hoaglander in over the line. Tries to take a shot, but the defense going to be all over him. Minute 50 to go here. Oh my word, we're giving up the puck right in the slot. This is just stacked against me right now. I've never seen anything like this. This is like a playoff special or something. Hughes with a point shot, and I barely got the blocker on that. Oh no, dude, they are just... Why are they not pulling their goalie, by the way? They had possession in our zone with under a minute to go, and it's the playoffs. Maybe pull your goalie? I don't know. And they're going to do it at like the weirdest time now, watch. They're going to get the puck behind their net, and we're going to be all over them, and they're going to be like, yeah, 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 come on, come to the bench. Okay, they actually are not. Actually, I don't know why I said it like that. Oh, man. All right. Hi, man. Dry sidle. I like it. Yeah, see? Like, he was right on top of them. And they're like, yeah, yeah, come to the bench. Okay. We have ourselves. Oh! <laughs> oh! My! Word! Get absolutely destroyed. You thought. You really did. You absolutely thought. And boy, did you think wrong. I need to see that replay. That was phenomenal. And then the follow-up save, too. This game is really trying to screw me over right now. And I'm doing a phenomenal job of putting it right back in their face. The initial save, the defense is like, oh, what should I do? But do not fear, because freaking TJ is here, baby. Look at that. Sticks out the right mini wheat. See you later. And then this guy's like, oh, yeah, I'll just walk right back out, because their defense are letting me do whatever the heck I want. Right in the mitten. Get out of my face, Garland. As soon as I saw the rebound go out to the right, I just, I've accepted it was a goal. I pretty much said, okay, it is time for overtime. This game is really pissing me off today. But, nope. <laughs> I somehow managed to get the pad on it. And we sneak out with a W. No thanks to our defense. But, yeah, our offense did all right. Okay, big dub. My stats aren't going to be great. In fact, I don't even think they had 20. They did get 20 exactly. All right, that's decent, but yeah, the most important thing, especially because it's the playoffs, is that W, and we did get that. So fire me vertical. Let's see. Is James going to be like, oh, oh no, I forgot. James goes ghost in the playoffs sometimes. Yeah, okay. He's gone for now. We still made it for overall, which is nice. Feels good. And no data to display. All right. Sim to next game. So here we go. We're up one nothing now. Against Vancouver. And let's just have a quick look at our uh, team stats again. Actually, I'll just show you after this game. So, here we go. Ready? Sim game. Game number two. Second playoff game under our belt. Well, after this one it will be. Here we go. That's fine. And? Oh, wow. All right. All right. This is a goaltender duel. Let's do this. I'm up for the challenge. Apparently. And actually, you know what? Let's, uh... What jersey should we wear this game? Alternate? No, let's wear our reverse retro. No, we'll wear those when we're away. Uh, let's wear the... Hmm. No, let's wear these ones, sure. And then I don't think they have, like, a... A white jersey that is... Like, you know how the Oilers have their white jersey as their reverse retro? That is not the case for Vancouver. Okay. Let's see what else we can find here, though. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Those jerseys were mint. And Vancouver has a power play, apparently. That's good to know. I don't recall seeing that, but anyway. 19 minutes remaining. <laughs> Just a quick update there. But yeah, it's a tie game, 0-0. And... Like, these... What am I doing? So, yeah, about that whole 0-0 thing. Um... No, not anymore. It is now 1-0 for Vancouver, unfortunately. And we still have a lot of time left. The boys do normally play well in the third period, so hopefully we can keep that tradition up. Had to make another big save there. I don't know how they're getting all these stellar opportunities. Like, other team... You are joking, correct? Please say I'm kidding. What a lovely start to this one absolutely in favor of the way this is turning out holy crap dude yeah the playoffs are just like ridiculous right now 
I hope it's not like this the whole time, because this is just stupid. I hope it's just like some weird way Vancouver plays or something. Let's go here, guys. We can still get two goals. This is very doable. I believe in the lads. We almost got one right there. That would have cut it in half already. Pa oh, no, he's going to keep it. He's going to spin and shoot, but Demko, man, he is playing unreal. His pads are also very cool. Neat. But uh, don't really fit the jersey or the team at all. Well, at the very least, I can get some team play. Pass that to you off the back of the net. Had to do a little trick shot. No way. Yeah, right, Hoaglander. I see you. Saw what you were trying there. Oh, man. This is not going well so far. Hamannick goes for a point shot. Ooh. Okay, that's another huge save. But yeah, they are generating some of the most ridiculous opportunities I've ever seen in my goaltending career right now. This is outrageous. They must be stopped. <laughs> Brock Besser, he's in, gets it to Pedersen, who takes a interesting shot. No one wants to go get this thing, apparently. They're all scared of it. Don't lose that battle. Okay, good job. It's out. It is out and about. No, it is back in. No, it's back out. <laughs> what a seesaw battle that was. Complete teeter totter. Let's try to get one. Just one goal. Oh, Bouchard got rocked. We need to get started here. Break the ice, and then the floodgates will open. There's a save. There's another save. He's just dipping, so I'll pass that out to you, Nuge. All right. Bouchard is apparently a forward now. He's in, and I thought he was going to get rocked again. That guy's been getting tossed around in this series so far. But to be fair, there's been a lot of big hits to, like, everyone. So, yeah, that's a thing. Sammy Blaze is behind the net. And they're going to win the battle there. Pass it back to the defense, to Hamannick. Uh, Oh, yeah, he just left you wide open again. Clean breakout for your Edmonton Oilers. Yamamoto, he's in. Does a deke. Nice shot, but he just missed the net. McDavid goes back to Bouchard. And he gets folded like a taco again. What is going on with this man? Like, holy dude. He is an absolute piece of paper out there getting crumbled. Nuge. Oh, yeah? Win that battle? He does? Oh, I thought he was going to be able to walk out. That would have been huge. A massive individual effort from him if he was able to put that in. But still a good job nonetheless. All right. All right. I see you. Let me get that. Pass that to you. Who takes a risky pass in front of the net. Can we not do that maybe? Next time. Oh, yeah? Nice. Oh, Demko. We're now down to six minutes. We still have not been able to put one past. They just let him walk right in. Like, what was all that? We haven't been able to put one past Demko. Unfortunately, he has been robbing us left, right, and center. And I've made a few saves, at least. You know, I've, I've been picking my game up ever since the, the whole ordeal. But, I mean, as a whole, yeah, it's just the Oilers... Not playing the best in this third period. Horvat gets dropped, but he manages to get the pass off to Hoaglander. That's all right. The Edmonton Oilers still... I thought that was going to be a suicide pass. It looked like it was teeing up to be one. But, oh my goodness. And I get dangled. Absolutely dangled. My jaw... jaw my jaw strap. I can't even speak. That's how insane that was. I probably should have tried to poke check, or maybe even a flying poke check, but yeah, I think this game is just a write-off. We just got to bounce back. Thankfully, it's the second game, and you know, we get to start fresh in the next episode now. Whereas if it was the first game, then we have another game in this episode to go, and we'd be shaken up. So yeah, that's good. We're going to get the little break between the two, and that will hopefully give us some time. To regroup, gather our thoughts, and figure it out. Because we got a lot of that to do. Here comes Vancouver. They're in again. And the defense will shut that down for once. Pedersen over to Garland. <laughs> wow. What a hit. That was like a Hulk smash. Literally picked him up and dropped him. And now, okay, I'm going to fight Demko. You know what? This is a prime opportunity. Dang. I wanted to go him. I guess I still could. Nothing's really stopping me. As soon as this puck drops, I'm going. This guy is getting fought immediately. Because I have to make up for my poor performance here. Let's go. Yep, bring it on. Here we go, Thatcher. 
I'm gonna knock you into next week. All right, and punch, and punch. Oh yeah, he's getting wrecked right now. That is nothing like Thatcher Demko. They really just said, hey, your player model? Yeah, we don't care about it. Okay, he actually, okay. How, bro? How is he like, no way. We shouldn't even be close right now. There we go. All right, solid fight. And a big fat dub for the Edmonton Oilers. That's about the only dub we've taken tonight. How much do you guys want to bet that James is just waiting to weigh in after this one? Like, oh, did they make the right choice with the rookie? I don't know if they did. After that performance, I mean, <laughs> imagine that one in the net. That actually would have been hilarious. But yeah, I have a feeling that James is going to be like just at the starting gates ready to jump all over my poor performance. But I guess we will see. Okay. Let me get that. Get some team play here at least. Pass that around the boards. To pool party. And now Dano is in. But it is far too little too late. 10 seconds to go. And it looks like we are going to be shut out in this contest. Thatcher played unreal. TJ uh, not as much. And there you have it. A 3 nothing L. Not good. How many shots they end up having? Definitely. Oh, they did have 33. Wow. Okay. So the save percentage is still there. I mean, I myself did not do great. But yeah, I mean, it seems like everything is still kind of in place there. Okay. Well, let's see. Do you have anything to say, James? Or nah? Is he going to remain a ghost? It looks like he's going to remain a ghost. Okay. All right. I respect it. So as I said, oh, that's pretty huge. We got to kind of just shake that off. It wasn't good. But, uh, yeah, thankfully, am I, is the UI broken? Like, I can't see what I'm on right now. Hold on. Like, uh, this game, man. Okay, sim to next. And, yep, let's go to here again. Where is it? No, not set. Ooh, I could buy some stuff. All right, skill tree. Will I be able to see now? Amazing. Absolutely incredible. Okay, well, should I go stick low, glove low, five hole, what's this one? Angles and breakaway. My breakaway is kind of poo, but I don't know. Does it like really help with that that much? Playing puck frequency, passing poke checks, rebound control. Oh, poise is huge for simulation. And then, okay, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to get poise up. Yeah. Let's do that, because poise is pretty massive when it comes to simulating well. And I want to simulate well. So there we go. We're now 80 overall. Let's go to our not calendar. That's not what I wanted to do. Uh, back. Let us go to the salary perk. See if we can buy anything here that's going to help us out. Uh, angles down one, but it gets other stuff. Yeah, okay, here you go. Sure, why not? And the motorcycle reduces passing. Absolutely, I'm buying you. I do not care. All right, good stuff. Uh, nope, don't care. No, no. Oh, what is like? What is an X factor point? I don't even know what that means. Anyway, um, you know what? I'll buy this for a, yeah. Let's go. It's 180 days. Not bad. Same with this. Boom. And can I buy the recording studio too? Boom. Amazing. I'm probably buying all the wrong things here. Okay, so durability and angles goes up. Five hole goes down. I don't know how I feel about that one. Um, stick high and glove high. Available for 30 days. Sure, why not? Boom. There you go. All right. Did we go up in overall? Yes, we did. We're now in 81. So we've shot up two overall now for the next playoff games. Okay, good stuff. That is good. Uh, yeah, we need to give our head a shake after that one. Definitely come back next uh, couple games fresh. And actually, this isn't what I wanted to check. I wanted to check the uh, team player, sorry, the playoff player stats. There we go. Nuge point of game, same with dry sidle. McDavid only has one right now, and he's a dash one. What the heck? Barry's a dash three with one. Okay. Uh, and then for me, I have a 905, 250, 1, 1, and 0. Oh. All right. So that's the stats so far, guys. Okay. Let us just wipe that second game from our memory. And I'll see you guys soon where we will, yeah, be in Vancouver for game three and four.